all of these brand new mother boards are way too expensive. I get it, I totally get it. You just want the cheapest motherboard possible for your Intel 12th gen or 13th gen based build. So what about the Asus Prime B760 Plus? which can be all yours for just $160. Now I know what you might be asking yourself, how many features do they have to remove from a motherboard to make it this cheap? And as it turns out, a lot. Starting off with CPU power, as is traditional these lower end prime motherboards from ASUS, the company doesn't even want to tell us exactly how few power phases this motherboard even has. It's literally not mentioned anywhere, and that might be for good reason, seeing how this motherboard appears to just have, at best, 7 plus 1 power phases, which is going to be pretty abysmal for any motherboard. Now I don't think I have to explain that it's not a good idea to put a 1300KS into such a low end motherboard, but at the same time I don't think too many people who can even afford a 1300KS would even think about getting this motherboard, especially combined with the single 8 pin for CPU power. Now those things combined wouldn't be the worst thing ever still. Many CPUs, especially lower end ones, would still manage just fine. What is really worrying is the actual thermal solution for the VRMs, because the included heatsinks are very anemic. That's the kind of stuff that will actually impact your performance if this motherboard isn't able to dissipate enough heat away from the CPU power delivery. What's also going to impact your performance is the memory situation. Firstly, there is no DDR5 variant of this motherboard, just a DDR4 one. Which again is kind of understandable, I don't think too many people will be pairing such a cheap board with expensive DDR5 memory. And the people that would do that probably don't deserve financial independence anyway. But the rate of memory speeds for DDR4 also suggests that memory overclocking isn't this motherboard's forte either. So hey, what about PC expansion? Maybe they didn't cheap out there. And honestly, it could actually be worse. You do have a primary 16x slot that actually runs at PC Gen 5, which hey, is something that even more expensive Gigabyte motherboards don't do this generation, so uh, congrats there ASUS, and congrats for Gigabyte for saying the bar so low. On top of that, you also have another additional physical 16x slot that's actually 4x at Gen 4 speeds, and two additional small 1x slots running at Gen 3 speeds. Perfect for your sound card and like, and like, whatever else you use PC Gen 1 slots for nowadays. On top of that, you also have three M.2 slots, all of them rated at Gen 4 speeds, which is nice to see, and just four SATA connectors, which I have grudgingly come to accept from these budget B760 mobiles at this point. So no, the PC expansion isn't all that terrible, isn't great either, but for $160 it could be way way worse. Speaking of way worse, let's talk about the rear I.O. Starting off with USB, you only have a mere 5 USB Type A ports, which just so happens to be the same as in the much more expensive ASUS Tough B760 motherboard as well, because apparently B760 gamers don't deserve more USB, but like whatever, at least the USB Type C is 20 gigabits per second, which is once again something that Gigabyte couldn't even do on much more expensive motherboards. At that 2.5 gig Ethernet, optional Wi-Fi 6E through an expansion card, integrated HDMI DisplayPort and VGA, <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> VGA, and also a mere free audio jacks, once again following in the footsteps of Gigabyte. But while Gigabyte do the same mistake on much more expensive boards, here you're getting free audio jacks in a $160 motherboard. So while I'd still say it's kind of disappointing that we don't have the full array of audio options, Again, I don't think I can criticize it too much when it costs so little. This one is bored so it's very difficult to talk about, because yes, it's bare bones. Yes, there's many cut corners, but at the same time, what can you expect for $160? But hey, if you just have $160 spare, I guess there's worse ways to spend that money. And if you do want to spend your hard earned money on this motherboard, then make sure to use the Amazon links down in the video description below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki Beach, The Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bardosh Volko, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Jesse Hartman, and Sean Ogden. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down is you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.